Hello guys, I'm Bobby from Flovium. I'm the head Clavio Pro here at Flovium and today we are going to talk about the first name uh, variable syntax for Clavio. So what is the variable syntax and why do we usually use it? And we will link this article below the video. This article is about all the different uh, tags and variable syntaxes that you can use in Clavio and this is for dynamic content to take the data that you have for your subscribers and to use them instead as a code as a variable syntax in the emails so you can get more personalization for your email you have different options here different examples so for example there was one good here for example, instead of saying, hey, friend, or whatever, we can use dynamic content from the data that we already have for our client, customers. And in this case, we're taking the variable syntax for the first name. Uh, in this case, we're saying, if the person le left us their first name, use their first name. If not, use friend instead. Uh, so here it would be a hey, friend, and then, any interest in some tasty treats. Here it says default tasty treats because this person probably haven't picked their favorite food, but if they did pick their favorite food with this different variable syntax, we can uh, take this thing from their profile. We won't be talking much about the other variable syntax in this video. This video is mainly about uh, the first name and we will go over the different uh, options of what you can do with the first name variable syntax. Uh, so for that, let's go to templates. And I will use a basic template just so I can uh, show you some examples. Let's see. We can use this simple template. All we need is a text block just so you can see how this works. We already have sim simple text box here to make it easier. Let's center this. And if you want to use a variable syntax and you don't know how to find it, uh, you can either look on that, like search on Google for Clavio variable syntax, and it should be on the top. Actually, this is their old article, so don't get confused by that. And here is the second article linked in Google. And here you have all those. This is the article that we were looking at before. But you don't need to go there because here you have add personalization in the text blocks in Clavio. And if you click on it, you will see all the different, like we have uh, not too many here, but you will see all the different properties that people have. And in case you want to use the first name, just search for it. So if you look for name here, you will see the options for first name and last name. And if you want to use the first name variable syntax, we can just click on it and this will automatically be added. So this is how Clavio adds it automatically. It adds it the first name and then default and then you have these uh, commas here, so apostrophe. So you can put something as default in case per people don't have their first name uh, added to, to the account or you don't need to. We will go over all the different ways you can do this and all the different things you can uh, style this. There are like eight, nine examples that I want to share with you, but let's start with the most basic one. If we start with the most basic one, and that is just the first name variable. So if you just use the basic one, just for the first name, we can always test things, how they will look in the preview. And here we are testing with my name because I already have my name left in this profile, in this Clavio account, you can see my name. But what will happen if let's say, have an account, uh, account who doesn't have the first name set, then nothing will show up. So if you say, for example, hey, and then you add just the first name as we did before, nothing will show up. So it will be just hey, and it will be blank. Or for example, what would happen if you have, for example, someone for some reason added their name with small letter, with a lower case letter. So we don't want to address people 
with lowercase letter in their name. So we would like always to fix that. So how to do that? We will go over that in this video also. So let's go back and add a few things. First, I want to add how to make it always to show up with capital letter. And for that, we need to add title. And let me just, we will, we will share all of this example with you, so don't worry about it. So what I will do here is I will add two different ways for us to capitalize the first letter of the name of every person. And these are the two ways. So the first uh, name, and then we have this line here, and then we say title. And then the second option is first name, and then the same line that we have here, separator line, and then cup first. All, all, both of these examples will make sure that the first name is shown with capital letter. And we can go and check that. Let's just add a divider here so we can see the difference. And let's go to preview now. And again, for my account, for my profile, it shows the same because I have added my name properly with capital letter, but what will happen again, if there is no first name added? If there is no first name added, again, nothing will show here. And then we will have empty spaces. But remember that this fix was to show for capital letter. So this would help us in the test account. And it will help us see the test name with capital letter. And you see, this was the first example. And now on the both of the other examples with cup first and with uh, uh, title, both of them are showing, even though here the person may have added their first name with small letter, with lowercase letter, here we see it with capital letter. So cup first or title are the two of the examples that you can use to make sure that all of the names are shown with capital letter. What are some other things that we can talk about here? So let's see. So let's go and see if you add how it was before. And let's see if you add something here where it says default. So here we don't have, you see, we don't have title, we don't have cup first. Instead we have the separator line and then it says default and then we can write in these apostrophes, inside these apostrophes, we can write something. What this does is in case someone don't have their first name added to the account, this will add the default uh, value. Usually different clients, different accounts need different default values, uh, but the most common are there or friend. Why there? Because most of the time we are addressing people with, hey, Bobby, for example, or hey, Angie, or hey, Amara. Uh, so we are addressing people, hey, and their first name. But when there is no first name, the most appropriate and the most natural way to address people, it's, it looks like, hey, there. So that is why this is the most common together with friend. You can call everybody friend, no one will complain about it. So let's see if we add those two. So let's see if you add there. And then let's make a copy of this. I'll make it friend. So, and let's click done and let's see what will happen now. So now for Bobby, you won't see any difference because I have my first name and nothing changed here because the default that we set as friend or there, we only show if I didn't have my first name. So let's see how that will work for the account, the access account. There is no first name setup. And here you see what happens for the previous examples. We didn't had uh, anything as default. So we either use first name on there is or there is nothing. So we have empty spaces. But for the two that we set defaults as there or friend, we, sh we see there or friend. And this is because this profile in Clavio doesn't have their first name added. In this case, we are just seeing there and friend. But there and friend are showing with uh, small letter and then if we go back and we go to the test account 
you will see that the problem here, it will still show uh, the test with small names. So this is not fixing both of our lowercase first letter for the name and, and the default in the same time. So we need to come up with something that will fix both of these problems for us. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. So let's do that next. And how we do that, there are several ways. And let's for now just use friend. And by the way, I wanted to show you one more example. We can do friend with capital letter here, for example. And if you go and check, you see it's the same always for when people have properly added their first name. For the account that doesn't have first name, now it will show its friend with capital letter because that is how we added it to be default. But if you go to the test account, friend would not show because this has the first name, but the first name is still with lower letter. So with us just making friend capital letter, that doesn't fix our problem. So we will fix our problem in the next two examples. And let's do that. So we said here that adding the separator line and title and separator line and cup first is something that can help us capitalize the first letter. So let's try to do that. Before default and the separator line for default, I will add title. And then I will copy this and I will do the same thing with cup first. Now we have two different options. The default name is friend and this is saying, so add the first name, make it title, or if, if you don't have the first name, add friend as default. Uh, same thing here, add the first name, make it a uh, first capital letter. And if you don't have it, make it uh, instead friend. So let's see what this will do. And now again, when you have the proper name added, then it works always as it's supposed to be. So this is not the issue that we are fixing. The issue that we are trying to fix is when people don't have their name added, which happens a lot for different accounts. So let's see how that got fixed for the account that doesn't have their first name added. And there it is. So you see what happened here? So it's saying, add the first name. If they don't have the first name, so add the first name and make it title. If they don't have the first name, add friend instead. For the second thing, it's saying, add the first name, make it cup first. If they don't have the first name, add the default instead. And that is okay, you see the default, but again, this is not exactly how we wanted it maybe. Maybe we wanted uh, friends to be with capital letter and we will go back to that. But again, you see how here it fixes our problem where people don't have their first name added. It add the variable syntax for the default, which in this case is friend, and that is fixing our problem of not showing an empty space. And if you go to the test account, which has the first name added with small, with uh, lowercase letter, you see that in both cases, this is with capital now, because we said add the first name, in the first example, add the first name and make it title if you have the first name. And then for the second one, it says add the first name and make it cup first if we don't have it. There are different ways to do this. And this would be the last thing that I want to share with you. And that would be the placement of all of this. The title doesn't necessarily need to be placed here. We can place it on the end. 
same thing for cup first. And let's see how this works now. So we change the placement of title and cup first. Instead of adding it before the default name, we added it after the, the default name. So if you go now and check it again for the account that has the name properly added, nothing happens. Nothing is different, no matter which one you use. For the account that doesn't have the first name added, there are a lot of changes. And the last changes that, you, that we made, you see it's almost the same code as the previous one. The difference is the title tag was only after the first name, but before the default. Now when we placed it after the default, then it also makes the title the default name. So depending on where you put the title or the same thing with cup first in the sequence of the code, you can have both of the uh, name or the uh, default name added as a uh, capital letter. Or if you add it before the, the default, only the, this will only capitalize the first name in case people have it. If they don't have it, then the, the default uh, would be added as it is with small uh, lowercase letter or with uppercase letter if you added it like that. And the last thing to check is what would happen when people have their, have their name added with small letter in the last example and it should make it same as before to add it properly. So with this and all of these examples, so what is this, like two, four, like 10 examples, these are 10 different examples, uh, they all work in a different way. The most optimal is depending on what you need, some of the last four. If you add first name title default, then if they have the uh, first name, they, it will be capitalized, but the default name wouldn't. And then the difference with the other two options is if you add the title after or cup first after the default, both the first name or the default would be capitalized no matter what. Those are the different options. Uh, probably it's longer than a uh, longer video than needed for this one simple variable tag, but I hope it would be worth it and you can get better understanding of how to use Clavio tags, especially the Clavio tags for the first name. That would be it. Thanks. Hey, if you're watching this and you like what you see, please hit subscribe and hit the bell because it helps us grow our channel.